what is up guys Zane from the Zane Madden YouTube channel in today's video we're going to show you guys a motion mini scheme out of the wing tight U formation but before we do that please do me a favor hit that subscribe button and also make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you guys are updated every single day when I upload here on the Zane Madden YouTube channel if you guys want to watch me play Madden 20 live you guys can check me out on the Twitch platform twitch.tv slash Madden the link is in the description below and I do have exclusive sub only content for my Twitch Prime and tier one subscribers my tier two subscribers will get those sub tips every Friday, just like the tier one subs do, but they will also get my Washington Redskins hot route master offense included with that tier two subscription. So in today's video, we're actually going to be in the Washington Redskins offense, and I'm going to show you guys a new installation. Normally, this would be something I would go straight to Twitch with. I'm going to go ahead and put it out here on YouTube just as a kind of a way to uh, spread awareness about this offense, because I think a lot of people are still really, really sleeping on this offense when it comes to how it attacks the meta. I'm currently in the wing tight, wing tight U, and wing tight Z in the Washington Redskins offense with the hot rod master. But now with the unveiling of the golden ticket quarterbacks that get dual archetype eligibility, you're going to get quarterbacks that can have a hot rod master and an escape artist like Mike Vick and the rumor of Josh Allen, RG3, Cam Newton, and other potential quarterbacks that might come during the golden ticket promo. We're going to be able to get those dual archetype eligibility where you can kind of mix and match abilities from different archetypes and build a super quarterback. So right now, Mike Vick is my quarterback, but I was using Aikman, Doug Williams, Joe Montana type quarterbacks. Uh, I believe I was using Daniel Jones as well in this offense. Um, and it was really, really good. And now I've got legs to run this offense with as well. So you guys should really be kind of entertaining the idea of this offense because it attacks the meta so well. It's a great running formation with three tight ends. But when you add the hot rod master in, it's an unbelievably dynamite passing formation. So we're going to go ahead and show you this new installation here today with the wing tight U. Uh, we're going to start you off with a cover three bomb. I'm going to go ahead and run uh, uh, basically a hot rod master setup. Keep in mind, again, Michael Vick is my quarterback now, so I can scramble. You're not stuck in the pocket if they blitz. And if they do blitz, you've got some really great options that I break down. In fact, the, the ebook is over 80 minutes of content for you guys for a tier two sub. We'll show you guys how to beat the blitz, bomb every coverage in the game. Uh, and then obviously got a really good run game as well. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about this, this motion mini scheme. We're going to be motioning the inside receiver. Uh, I say receiver because this offense does allow you to get a receiver at the tight end position. As you see, I've traded Julio Jones over to the Patriots. I've also made a couple other roster changes to kind of mimic what you would see in salary cap or mutt or CFM where you get to uh, kind of build your own roster. In fact, I do run this offense in CFM as well. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is we're going to detach this tight end, Travis Kelsey. So you see with the high round master, if I pull up his, his routes, he's got cross, trail, corner, and post. But with this mini scheme, we're actually going to detach him from the line by motioning the inside tight end to the outside. What this is going to do is that's going to give Travis Kelsey slot receiver extra routes with the high round master. So now he's got the receiver cross, the receiver post, the receiver corner, and then the stop and go route. So that's what this scheme is kind of predicated around. Um, so we'll go ahead and start off here with the cover three bomb. What we're going to do is we're going to put our inside tight end on a corner route. Uh, and then motion him to the outside, detaching that B tight end. And then that B tight end now gets the stop and go route, which is double move route. Now get your cover three. If you get a cover three where the safety is over on the receiver side, there are a fair amount of them like your three, four odd cover three. Uh, you're going to have an easy one play score. The only other adjustment you really need to make is a backside post to the X receiver to block your running back if you wish. And what you're going to notice is that the stop and go route is going to get wide open for an outside pass lead. So you see he's going to run that route and then just throw the outside lead, rack catch it, easy score against your cover three defense. Now that's if the safety that's in center field starts pre-snap over towards the wide receiver. Like I said, there are a number of formations that will do that. However, if they have a set that has the safety in center field, like direct center field, you guys will make a small adjustment to this. So I'm going to go ahead and show you an example, the 4-4 split cover three. There are other formations that do this exact same thing. You see Earl Thomas is dead set in center field over the center. What we're going to do with this is we're going to run the same setup. However, we're going to make a small tweak to this where instead of a backside skinny post, we're actually just going to streak Evan Ingram. And then you could actually put a C route or you know whatever route you want, smart out route to the X receiver because that's an easy way to beat outside you know the cover three on the outside. So we'll show you right here. You know, you can throw your little baby out route or whatever. Uh, against your cover three but if you want to focus on the stop and go route we'll go ahead and focus on that here so uh, we'll put Julio Jones on his corner route motion him to the outside put the detached tight end on a stop and go now what's going to end up happening is because you have a double move to Travis Kelsey the safety should drift a step or two towards Evan Ingram which will allow the outside pass lead to Kelsey it may not be a touchdown but it should be a good source of yards I'm going to say 20 25 30 yards on this throw so you're going to see here he's going to drift 
and now we throw the outside lead. You see right here how we're able to rack that. Now you're right there, uh, a zone out defender like Earl Thomas got there and, and made a hit. That's okay. Uh, but you know, if you're facing a player that doesn't have the zoned out ability, that should not be an issue. We'll go ahead and run that again here for you. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and use the C route to the X receiver this time and kind of show you that that is an option for you as well. Uh, so you see, we're going to go ahead and let this route develop. See, we got the outside pass lead to Kelsey, makes that catch, that time a regular tackle instead of a hit stick. So pretty easy to make that throw. Uh, we'll go ahead and go back to the C route this time rather than throwing it to Kelsey. We'll just go ahead and focus on the C route here. And in this example, you're going to see that Ingram on his streak will pull the outside third on the left off of Dorsett, allowing Dorsett to then run the corner route under. And right there, you're just going to make a possession catch, a little click on, pull him back and make a possession catch. Obviously, you do kind of want post flag lead on the outside receiver, if possible, to give you increased catch and traffic odds. So that's how we attack cover three with that little motion of the inside receiver to the outside. Now, what we're going to do is use this same concept against cover four and cover two, but we're going to do something different. So cover three is a one high defense. Cover two and cover four are two high defenses, and we're going to show you guys a little thing that uh, we're going to do with detaching that same player. So we'll start with cover two. And what we're going to do is we're going to motion Julio Jones to the outside. Uh, what you could do with this is, is kind of up to you. There are a number of routes I like. One of my favorites that we've talked about on the channel is the smart routed fade stop against cover two because it goes, it looks like it's a 15 yard route, but really it's a 20 yard route. Um, so if I were to go ahead and try to throw this as like a, a generic curl flat combination, like if I were to just flat the B tight end, you know, this isn't the actual tip here, but um, if I were to do this, you do kind of have a way to throw this ball to Julio as he turns around. You see right there, the vertical hook is underneath him. But uh, in, in the sack doesn't matter. We'll go ahead and just show you kind of how he checks up and he's in a good spot on the field. Uh, we've done tips on this before. Uh, in fact, I'll just go ahead and try to throw one to the left side here. You're going to see here how he's going to go ahead and just kind of stop right there. And then we've got that throw. That's basically what you could do with Julio Jones on the other side. Um, so you could use a fade stop if you want. But what we're actually going to be looking at when we detach uh, the B tight end is we're going to be using the actual cross route to the tight end. So what I want to do here is I want to show you before and after. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put the tight end on a tight end cross. If you take a look at the tight end cross, you see how shallow that is, right? It, it basically, if you look at the arrow, it ends at the, what would that be? The 31 yard line on the left sideline. The red arrow ends at the 31 yard line. Now, when I detach him and I go ahead and make him a slot receiver and use the slot receiver cross, look at the difference. It goes so much further downfield, an extra good, I mean, you can see it, the arrow doesn't even land on the sideline. It stops at like the 28 yard line. So it's an extra three yards deeper and you still have a good couple yards to go before he reaches the sideline. That depth is huge for beating cloud flats. So what we'll do here is we'll kind of show you, you could go ahead and go with that smart route of fade stop to Julio Jones, kind of block the running back and use the flat route to Ingram on this play to pull the cloud flat down. And now you're going to be able to throw this ball to the B tight end, just a little down and outside lead make your possession catch on the sideline for an easy catch. So you can see how easy this throw is to make here. And when we actually take a look at the fade stop route as well, you should see that that checks up in a really soft spot. Although it does get released to the inside, you see that he's going to sit right here. This is just a simple touch pass. I mean, you can see how easy it is to throw this ball to, to Julio Jones. He's wide open for 20, 20 yards as well. So you see you got Julio at uh, basically the 28 yard line and you've got the crossing route at about the 25, 26 yard line. So that's how you beat cover two. Now we're gonna go right into cover four. Cover four drop show two is a very popular coverage this year. And uh, we're gonna show you guys how you guys can attack that as well. Again, guys, if you are sitting there poo-pooing this video because it's a hot route master offense, just be patient. You guys will come around on this once there are more golden ticket quarterbacks out. Right now, I'm lucky enough to have Vic and I understand that's not the case for everyone out there, but it is such a good offense. I'm telling you guys, with the way people like to run this, they like to blitz and you guys can cut block with a Michael Vic and just scramble. Um, or if they drop zone, you've got all these different zone beaters afforded to you with this high route master. Again, the, the fact that we've got so many different routes just by detaching a tight end is, is huge. Um, so like right here, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing, right? So we're going to motion Julio Jones to the outside and we can put him on whatever. Um, in fact, I would recommend maybe even a deep in route against cover four. And then you could go ahead and use the crossing route. Um, in this example, when you're facing cover four, I like to run off coverage. So if I know it's not cover two, I'm going to streak Dorsett. That's going to allow me to throw this ball to the B tight end as he crosses the field. You see, again, that's huge yardage. Now, if they're using the crossing route, that's why you have the deep dig route to Julio Jones, because 
you want that vacated area in the middle of the field where the user should be, but because they're over pursuing the crossing route. So like, just imagine right here that they were to take this guy, I'm gonna leave the cursor on him. Let's say that they took him and they chased 87. So let's say instead of staying home that they're actually following 87. That's why you like Julio Jones breaking into this area because if this guy were actually over where Kelsey is, you've got an easy throw over the middle. So again, just ignore that 48 is there. You see all that turf, the two defenders, he's way inside of 99 and he's so far away from this linebacker right here that there's a giant amount of grass that you would have if they overused this play. So that's why I really like that is if they, if they user it, you're going to be able to, to make that an easy, easy pitch and catch over the middle. So again, against cover four, I like to go with, you know, this type of setup uh, where you just go ahead and put Julio Jones on a deep square in crossing route to the detached receiver. That's now technically a, or detached tight end. That's now technically a receiver. You could go ahead and max protect outside of that and just run a little three route combo. Pretty easy. You know, and then, you know, you could go ahead and leak your tight end out, whatever. I mean, you've got the, the crossing route is just so open on that play. Uh, so this is a little motion mini scheme. Again, guys, if you guys want the totality of this offense, I do have it available for a tier two sub on my Twitch channel. Please check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Zan Madden. The link is in the description below. For that tier two sub, you will get the emotes, the song requests, the sub tips every Friday, and then you will get the tier two ebook, that offensive ebook. Uh, most of my sub tips are defensive tips dealing with meta stuff. So you guys will get a great deal for the tier two sub. So if you guys want that, go ahead and check me out on the Twitch channel. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the video up. If you did like it, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Any questions, comments, concerns, or complaints, drop those below. And we'll see you guys tomorrow with our next upload. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.